by the time they invite you to the table you you by the time they invite you to the table you will have made your own aka Drea Lachey and I'm back with another video I'm back with another video I'm back with another video I'm back for those of you who are new to my channel welcome 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 you clicked on this video for a reason go ahead and hit that subscription box like subscription box it's been a long time coming y'all and no hit that subscription box and you will not be disappointed click my big old face in that corner for my returners <laughs> for my mvps and my vips hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thank you guys for staying subscribed thus far. I have been gone, but y'all been keeping it strong up in these streets. <laughs> you guys know I love y'all to the moon and back. And say it with me. Me love you long time. <laughs> Your girl is back. I'm back like I never <laughs> Let's have a dance party. Let's have a quick dance party for my return. For my triumphant return. Okay. Can't turn it away. Of course, I have my handy dandy notepad. By the time they invite you to the table, you will have made your own. Number one. Have you ever felt like you felt avoided at work? Or you felt avoided in whatever you're trying to do, a sports team, whatever it is you're trying to do, you felt avoided. You feel like everybody's counting you out. Everybody's choosing everybody over you. You're raising your hand like, pick me, pick me. And they're like pointing at everybody around you and then like glancing at you like, should I pick them? Nah, I ain't gonna pick them. I'm gonna carry out. Have you ever felt that way? I want you to say, I want you to know that sometimes it is intentional but you have no worries do not worry i know it can make you feel frustrated i've been there i've been there countless amounts of times i'm telling you i have been there i'm like pick me pick me pick me in different parts of my life not just one in friendships relationships jobs everything i've been like pick me pick me pick me and then i got older and i'm like you know what when you a child of god when you're a child of God, you don't even have to have that pick me mentality because he's already chosen you. For one, I'm just going to lay that out there to as an umbrella term for all of my points that I'm going to make. Number two. Number two. Sometimes they try to avoid you, but they can't because it's ordained. So every time you are counted out, piggybacking off of number one, you seem to always finagle your way. Or not even finagle, you tend to always be included in a way even though it seems like the people really didn't want to include you they're like mm, come on come on you're always like even on the, you're like a fly on the wall you're in the room but you're like a fly on the wall everybody's huddled in a circle and you're like you're like the fly on the wall they're talking to each other but they're not talking to you they can't they can't avoid you like people will want to avoid you i hope this is making sense people will want to avoid you but they can't especially if it's god god or dang so if you're wondering like okay why is it always me trying to say pick me and then even though they don't want to invite me they always invite me it's because they cannot push aside a plan god already set in the place um before any of us were born before you were born so you're included in a room for a reason number three I was watching Minister Kevin, um, mm, 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 Minister Kevin, Kevin Ewing, Kevin Ewing, Kevin L.A. Ewing. And so uh, what he said, and I'm going to make a point to this, what he said was, don't get frustrated when the people are treating you like an outcast, like I said in number two. Like they try to avoid you, but they can't. And you're like, oh, I feel like I got the crumbs. In my grandma's word, I feel like I got the butt end of the bread. So rest up graham cakes um 
don't feel no way because God has ordained, just like he's ordained you to be in that room, he has also ordained people. This is what Minister Kevin Ewing was saying. He has ordained people to make it difficult for you because if it wasn't difficult, it wouldn't push you to pray and push you to, you know, strive towards like, hey, I, I, I deserve to be here. I feel something in my gut telling me that I'm supposed to be here and I'm supposed to be here. I don't care what kind of doors y'all try to shut in my face. I'm going to open some kind of doors. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. And God is going to guide me through this. If it wasn't for those difficult people that are God ordained, it's not devil ordained. It's not like, oh, the devil trying to knock me down. Every time I get up, been there, I was thinking that too. It's not the devil. God ordained, just like he ordains you to be, or he has a story, or he has a plan for you. He has people ordained to be in your play, in your, in your, in your surroundings that are going to push you to your destiny. And it's like the magnets. They push away from each other. So with that being said, they cause friction. They cause friction. You're supposed to be uncomfortable because if you're comfortable and you are content where you are, you're going to always stay orbiting in that room. And that's not where he wants you to be. He wants you to progress on out of that room and have your own. So those people are there to push you to your destiny. It becomes uncomfortable. You're going to want to cry. I have cried when I was younger. Oh, I used to cry. So I'm like, why do they always do this to me? It's always me. I always feel like the outcast. And I'm genuinely trying to be nice to people. And I genuinely do be trying to be nice to people. Um, and I've always been the one on the outside. And it's like every time I've gotten through that friction, I pray my way through. It forced me to pray to God. It forced me to trust God. It forced me to release and it forced me to be like, okay, this is something that I got to deal with for the time being. And it's not going to always be this way. So those people are ordained to push you. And every time I leveled up, not saying I was above nobody, but I went up the Richter on my own scale. Like I went up the Richter every time I'm definitely like, uncomfortable i get pushed to the next level number four number four you don't want to sit at that table anyway you are ordained to you have a promise <laughs> you have a promise over your life and it is gonna get the ultimate good for god's will but it's also gonna give you the ultimate happiness and you don't want to sit at the table with people that have their own this is their level of happiness this is their you know success this is their god ordained thing and you're not supposed to be there for a reason because he has something exactly it's custom made it is custom made for you and you don't want somebody else piece of pie at the table they pie might be look too sweet might be too too you know plain it might be too crumbly it might be too smooth yours is gonna be just right like the three little bears so you don't want to see that they type. And number five, by the time that they try to invite you to their table, you will have made the whole table of your own that you're going to invite other people to. You're going to be able to invite other people to a whole nother table that you have created, that you have created from your own gifts, your own talents, what God is using you to, you know, using you for to get to the masses to spread his message however he intends on you spreading his message or intends on you touching the hearts of people or intends on having people watching you and like being inspired by you so by the time they invite you to the table you will have made your own and that table gonna be bedazzled out it's gonna be how you like and mine will have diamonds all around the edge it's gonna be like sterling silver i don't know what sterling silver is but it sounds fancy <laughs> have a glass top and i'm gonna have like table covers on. this is my table tell me what your table gonna look like below you don't want to be at nobody else's table they might have a wooden table they might have a brick table what is a brick table they might have a stone table your stuff gonna be bejeweled bedazzled and it's gonna be flat and folks gonna be looking like oh look at that table i want to get a piece of that table i'm gonna come over there you know <laughs> so don't worry about when they don't invite you to the table it's always room for you to make your own table and you make more room for somebody else to be at your table and you know progress on from your table so yeah i hope y'all like this video about by the time they invite you to the table you will have made your own i hope it was inspirational to you it was a um it was personal experience for me and it, it's a continual personal personal experience for me and i just want you to know that it's okay the material is okay you're gonna be crying blood sweat and tears that's where that phrase comes from blood sweat and tears but also prayers pray through it trust god and just know that friction is created for a reason they're not inviting you for a reason god has a bigger purpose
and it's always good when God got a bigger purpose for you. I want that. I want. I want God's plan for two hundred, Alex. <laughs> Let y'all love you long time. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to your channel. I will be back with another video, and I'll see y'all then. Mwah. Love you guys.